Hello, this is Dumont, back for another Bakugan toy review. Oops. There we go, this is Garganoid. Let's have a little bit of close-up there. Okay, in case you're wondering, Garganoid was what he was originally produced as a B1 figure and this one right here is actually a B2 so I know all of you all are crazy about the season 2 toys right now but there might be a few that you may have overlooked or missed out on and you could still find them and those are the ones that I'm really interested in right now um, season 2 is just coming out and it's gonna be there for a while so in the meantime I'm going crazy over the first stuff and this right here like I said is a it's actually a B2 but it's a figure that was originally released as a B1 um, I don't know if you can see you know that makes uh, his designs quite unique looking um, he has like a weird head mold it almost reminds me of like cycloid as you can see it's like this weird sculpted head on there um, it's colored green red eyes he has golden horns it has quite a bit of detail actually I, I don't know how they would have been able to fit all this detail into the B1 figure which is you know uh, a lot smaller but here they did a nice job I could I could see it, it has like a beak looking mouth I can see the teeth um, and, and then he has his hands right here and yes he he is pretty much a gargoyle and right there uh, I didn't make him come out but he has feet that pop forward um, they're not automatic but they come out almost like a like a regular dragonoid type legs you know uh, his transformation as you saw is very very simple it just uh, it's just the wings right there pretty much and you know one wing is kind of forward the other is back kind of an interesting design uh, I like it very much okay so this is actually gonna be a two for one review um, the bonus character actually who is the mystery guest is also one that was originally a B1 figure and I was able to find him as a B2 figure and uh, how do I do this? It's the same that it, the same way I've done with the Reaper, the same way I've I've done with uh, Dragonoid, um, and you could do the same, pretty much too. So it's a three pack actually. You have to find them in a three pack, and they are always the mystery one, the the one that's in marble that you have to guess. So without further wait, let me show you guys the the extra guy right here whoops man I keep I always keep doing this always backwards here it is as you can see it is a uh, mantris and yes both of these are B2 this is a uh, mantris it's it's nice to see him you know on a B2 size as you can see um, I believe that a lot of people said that he was actually one of the best looking Bakugans that, you know, out of the first uh, season. He, you know, he has a very nice design. Um, you know, praying mantis are, let's just face it, they, they look really cool in design. Um, and they are just cool looking insects, you know, kind of freaky looking. Um, their mating habits are even freakier if you know anything about them um, I have seen praying mantises fight you know and they do have a reputation for being very very good fighters uh, I have seen them take on other insects like scorpions and stuff like that and actually didn't do as well as I thought it would but you know kids don't don't make insects fight that's cruel but you know I you you can find videos out there on the internet I mean you can find videos about anything and I did see lots of insect versus insect battles um, very cruel but at the same time very interesting to watch so anyway um, 
he he has a lot of the good details of of what you'd expect from a mantis. You know, he has the uh, the what do you call those things? Uh, his uh, sickle shaped arms, and you know, he has the head very insect like. Um, so both of these, I believe, are are the ones uh, that. These are the ones that maybe you should be looking for right now before they become extinct. You know, this this is almost like Spin Master giving us a second chance to uh, to find these guys if you miss the B1 form. And like I said, they are they you have to find them. You have to guess, but they are totally available. Um, these are harder to find. The Reapers are a lot more common in my area, and. What I'm also seeing is a lot of Dragonoids, original Dragonoids popping out, and those are always great to have. I, I love that design, but if you want some variety, these guys are great.